Hey, we've now moved on to a new space. We're still in Austin. We are at Matchbox Children's Theater. It's a really unique spot. And there's an upcoming play that if you have kids or know of a teenager that wants to participate, they can audition this weekend. We have the executive director of Matchbox Children's Theater here. This is Angie Sedgwick Perry. And this is a very cool spot. Yes, yes it is. We're really excited about it. We've really grown into it over the past year. And we're adding more classrooms, setting things up for offering more class services throughout the year. Each season we have classes, and then this summer we have camps that we're doing as well. So you've been around for now three-ish years? Three years. Um, up until recently, I was the marketing director. Um, I was just appointed executive director about a month ago. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. It was very exciting. <laughs> um, and it all plays a part of major changes we've been doing. We rewrote all of our curriculum. We've changed over everything of how we do anything in Matchbox. And it's really exciting. It's working out so well. I cannot wait to see how the rest of this year goes. So we are looking for some kids this weekend to audition for an upcoming play. Yes. And actually, that has a twist as well. Um, especially since COVID, COVID changed how we did everything, right? Um, that's part of how we're reforming back to a piece of what Matchbox used to mean. Not only are we casting children, but we're looking to cast a few adult roles as well. Okay. Part of what Matchbox is, is theater education. So having those adults involved to help coach the kids, show them what they know about theater by doing, right? Yeah. So having those adult roles helps them feel more comfortable, expands, as, expands their imagination, which is all part of our mission. Um, and we're bringing back another piece we haven't done in I don't even know how long, puppetry. There's a piece, which you're the first one to hear about that. Okay. So um, Matchbox Children's Theater started in 1975, and a big base of it was puppet theater, which explains the kiddo popping out of the okay. box. Okay. So that's where that comes from. Okay. So the wheels are always turning in your head, I can oh, tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go to sleep and I dream matchbox. <laughs> it does not stop. <laughs> so we're in a really unique spot. We're in a basement. Yes. What's above us? So First United Methodist Church is awesome. We partner with them um, and they let us rent to the lower level and we work together through any other services they do as well. And we just keep growing and changing Everything on the other side, which you'll see soon, is where we have our shows. So we get to host here, and so the kids learn here, and they rehearse here, and they have classes here, so they feel very comfortable, which helps them open up their own creativity. So let's show off this space, because it is, you, you've revamped it. Oh, what yeah. do we have behind me? And we have some cool rooms over here. Yes, um, so this is our main area. When the kids come in, get dropped off, we'll do some theater games, warm-ups, get them to relax, introduce themselves, and play. You know, a lot of theater is opening up that imagination to play, create those characters. It happens naturally through children playing. Um, and so we've got our puppet theater, which we've newly revamped. Yeah. Uh, made some curtains for it, got our logo on there. And then this play area here, over to your right there, is the playroom for our younger kiddos. We, we go have. peek inside? Yeah. Let's peek inside the playroom. So what ages are you talking? In here we have about three years old to six. Okay, three years old to six. We have a lot of costumes, which is fitting yes. for what you yes. have going on here. And we have a makeup room over this way. And this makeup room is so cool. Thank you. It was really fun. We put it together ourselves. Um, through some awesome donations, and we are looking to expand it very soon as well. I can just so. envision the kids getting ready for the play, getting their makeup on, yes, getting really dolled I up. Love it. They all get ready here, and then we're going to be putting in some more stations here as we've grown. Okay. And then for the play, they put all their costumes there and have their props so they know where everything is accounted for. It teaches them that accountability and organization. So. It's good. It's good. So this is a really big space. We're going to head this way to where the audience comes in yeah. when you have a play. Right. So you have this whole basement. We do. It's, yes. it's yes. awesome down here. Youth room over there. I mean, there's even more. We don't have time to show you, but <laughs> which is good because so, that just means other people have to come in to see it. So. Absolutely. So this is the, the route that the actors and actresses will come. Yes. This yes. is not for the audience. The audience comes in yep. through these stairs right, right here, here. Yeah. okay just easy to get lost yeah they come in through the church entrance 
and um, come down here and whoops, sorry, you're fine. Olympia. Um, behind you, it's roped off right now, but then we have concessions for sale, and then they enter here. Okay. And this entire room is lined with seats, and we dress the stage for whatever play we are doing. Have our lights set up, our sound over there, which you can see also <laughs> where we keep all of our costumes. Yeah, we have the costumes showing today because we do have the director of James and the Giant Peach, right? James and the Giant Peach is what we are auditioning for this weekend. We're looking for some kiddos here, correct? This is Kylie Larson. Hi, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? So this is kind of your space. You have a lot of costumes here. Yes, we do. I don't know the exact number, and I don't think we ever will, but yes. Is a lot of it donation? How do you get the clothes? Um, a lot of it, yes, is donation. Otherwise, just kind of random pickups. People will be like, here you go, and we just sort through it all and put it up here. It has to be a little fun to explore. Yeah, it really is. It's fun. It's fun to play, honestly. And that's kind of what our whole mission is, is to spark imagination. So, so Kylie, we have uh, some auditions this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Yes, Friday and Saturday, 6.30 to 8.30. Um, and we're looking for kind of kiddos 10 and up. And actually, this is the first time we're going to be asking adults to be coming and auditioning for, a, for the first time in a while, actually. So, yeah, we're pretty excited for bunch of people to show up and come hang out with us. Fantastic. No one has been casted yet, so we're still looking for James, right? We're still looking for our James, absolutely. <laughs> yes, Why are. James and the Giant Peach? Um, it's just a fun show, and actually it's one of my favorite, like, James and the Giant Peach is one of my favorite movies of all time, so it was a really exciting opportunity for me. Um, yeah, I think we're, this is just a really fun show for kids. There's yeah. a uh, 23, I think, for cast. Okay, I was going to ask you how many you're looking for. 23, um, and then I th maybe a couple of extras, but we're always looking for tech as well. Okay. Yeah, that's something that gets forgotten in theater, is we're not just looking for who we need on stage. They're just one tiny piece of theater, right? Everyone behind stage is what's making it work for on stage, so we need people that know about stage building, lighting, uh, sound, anything that they want to learn about or do know about. So, yes. all right. So again, auditions Friday and Saturday. We have more details on our website. That's kttc.com. Just click Midwest Access. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back.